Hi everyone, this is Michael King with LASIK in Nevada and I'm really excited to be able to spend some time with you here. Also joined by Dr. Rothman, our surgeon. And today we're gonna to go through and answer the top 10 questions that patients have about LASIK. And so what we've done is we've been able to uh, just kind of pull our patients and find out what are the biggest questions that they have prior to coming in and deciding if they wanna have the procedure done and here are the questions that we have for you. So uh, Dr. Rothman, do you wanna say anything before we uh, jump into the questions? Well, just that these are the, these are 10 questions, but there's quite a few others. So if you do have a question you didn't answer, uh, please feel free to contact our office so we can uh, answer those for you as well. Absolutely. And with uh, no further ado, let's jump into question one. So question one is, what is the recovery time and how much time do I need to take off of work? So if uh, Dr. Rothman, we could kind of paint the picture of somebody has LASIK, what should be expected in the few hours afterwards? And what's that recovery process like? Well, the procedure itself takes less than one minute per eye. We uh -huh. advise our patients to go home and take a nap for anywhere from two to three to four hours. Uh, when you wake up from your nap, you'll be comfortable. Uh, your vision will be functional. Uh, but we'd like you to go back to work the next day uh -huh. uh, just so you can get that nice full night of sleep. And then we can examine your eyes the next morning. And for most people, uh, they can go back to work the next day. We do have some others depending on what you do. <coughs> we customize that, that uh, suggestion depending on what kind of work you do. If you're in construction and you're working in a dirty, dusty environment, Yep. Uh, it would be a little longer than if you work in an office where it's nice and clean. So, yeah, about uh, pretty much go back to work the next day. <coughs> Excuse me. Excellent. Uh, the, the, the next question is, uh, is LASIK safe? Because you can imagine this is an elective procedure and, you know, some people have a bit of fear and anxiety about the safety of this procedure. Uh, what, what do you say to a patient with that question? Well, first of all, the short answer is yes. Mm -hmm. uh, LASIK is the most successful elective procedure in the history of medicine because it's so safe, so comfortable, and so effective. Uh, literally, uh, patients come in wearing glasses, uh, a lot of them legally blind uh, without their glasses, and literally in, a, in less than eight minutes, uh, most patients can see well enough to pass their driving test that day uh, after the procedure. Of course, the vision gets better uh, after that. So yes, it is very safe, it's very effective, it's a wonderful procedure. Excellent. Uh, question number three is, uh, you know, we predominantly do LASIK here at our practice, but uh, for some patients um, choose to or we recommend PRK. So maybe if we could talk a little bit about the difference between those two procedures and under what conditions would somebody, um, would we choose or, or recommend to have for them to have PRK? Well, laser vision correction is the general topic that describes these miraculous procedures that can basically get rid of a lifetime of glasses or contact lens wear in a brief eight minute procedure. Uh, the difference between LASIK and PRK is PRK is using a laser uh, that reshapes the surface of the eye alone, whereas LASIK uses a laser to create a flap with the reshaping underneath the flap. So really, uh, the same tissue being treated with the same laser, it's just a different way of getting it done. The original procedure that was approved was PRK, and we still do that procedure virtually every surgery day, uh, mostly for people who uh, for various reasons are not good candidates for LASIK or certain people who have occupations or hobbies that involve uh, trauma around the eye on a regular basis. Like in my practice uh, in Vegas, lots of MMA fighters, for example, mm -hmm. uh, would come in for that. Uh, but frankly, both give excellent results and I love them both the same. It's on my page. Excellent. Question number four is how much does LASIK cost? And uh, at our practice, we have outstanding financing packages for you. We have zero money down, zero percent interest financing for up to 24 months. Uh, and what that enables you to do is to have LASIK uh, or PRK for less than a couple hundred dollars per month. And so that means you can kind of get that freedom from those glasses and contacts uh, today. Uh, and, and the benefit is, is that what we do when we bring you into our practice, we will customize your approach for your unique visual condition. And that's what we find out at our initial consultation, which again, will be our invitation to you to schedule that. Uh, it's a free consult where we get to find out what's the best option for you. Question number five, is LASIK permanent? And do I need to have it done or do I need to have it done multiple times? Dr. Rothman, what are your thoughts? Well, LASIK is a permanent procedure. Uh, it changes the shape of the cornea permanently. There are certain situations where somebody might feel a little stronger or weaker than the average patient. And in mm -hmm. that case, maybe with uh, what we call a secondary procedure or enhancement. But in my hands, that's less than three to 5% of all our patients. So for 95 to 98% of our patients, uh, LASIK is a one-time permanent procedure. It does not have to be redone. Excellent. Uh, question number six is, are there any side effects from LASIK uh, that someone should consider? Well, the most important uh, side effects that you need to know 
uh, that patients should know is number one, dryness. Uh, mm -hmm. There is always an induced dryness, which is temporary and, and self-limited. Uh, that uh, is something that we take very seriously. We manage that uh, proactively to minimize those effects of dryness. Uh, the other two are under and over correction. And as I mentioned uh, on the last question, there are some people who just deal more or less uh, than mm -hmm. the average patient. So we need to take that into account. And finally, there's uh, very much uh, a normal experience of a bit of fuzzy vision, uh, especially for the first night, uh, due to a little bit of microscopic swelling, which goes away really quickly in patients under 21 years of age. Uh, people in my age group, it can take uh, anywhere from three to five days to even up to a week to get that clarity of vision uh, that everybody reports after LASIK. Excellent. Uh, question number seven, this is a big one for those patients that are over the age of 40. So. How will LASIK affect or will it correct the reading vision and what sort of considerations do they need to have about how the reading vision will be affected post LASIK? The patients over 40 are excellent patients for LASIK. Uh, they're just different than when they were under 40. And uh, as being in the over 40 crowd myself, I can tell you that our near vision changes dramatically between the ages of 40 and 50. So we have to take that into account. Uh, we have several different options for people over 40 that involve uh, distance vision, and reading vision or a combination of the two. And that's something that we, we would go over with you in detail during the consultation to find the procedure that's right for you. Excellent. And uh, question number eight, which is a, a common misconception that patients have is, can LASIK treat astigmatism? So uh, what's the short answer on that one, Dr. Rothman? Well, astigmatism means that the eye is shaped microscopically a bit more like a football. So mm -hmm. these are the flat uh, curve between the two points of the football and then a slightly steeper curve going in the opposite direction. My job is really turning microscopic football shapes into microscopic basketball shapes, mm -hmm. because then the image focuses evenly in all directions. So since the late 90s, uh, we've been treating LASIK uh, astigmatism prescriptions virtually every day. I think mm -hmm. the misconception comes from the fact that in the initial period of LASIK approval in the uh, mid-90s, mid uh, the amount of astigmatism that we could treat was a bit limited, but then mm -hmm. now, uh, we could treat virtually any prescription. I mean, there are a few exceptions, but frankly, uh, most of the people listening now will have no problem getting their stigmatism treated with LASIK or PSA. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, here's a common question. Does LASIK hurt? What are your thoughts? A absolutely not. Uh, we actually provide uh, numbing medicine during the procedure, which is mm -hmm. very strong. Uh, and during the procedure, my patients only feel touch, stretch, and a bit of pressure. And as I mentioned earlier, in my hands, the procedure takes about eight minutes, but the mm -hmm. actual surgical time is less than one minute per eye. So even though mm -hmm. you're in the room for eight minutes, the actual procedure time is very, very fast. And the vast majority of my patients tell me that that's all they feel, a little bit of touch, a little bit of pressure. Some people don't feel anything at all. And then of course, there's a few people who are a little more sensitive uh, and we, we give you extra numbing drops if you do with that. Uh, if just to, if I could add on a question is, what about the patient that's that's nervous or has a little bit of anxiety? Uh, what do we do for those types of patients about LASIK? Well, well I specialize in nervous patients, <laughs> patient myself. Uh, we actually do really well uh, with nervous patients. And uh, one, of, one of the things I do is what I call verbal anesthesia, uh, mm -hmm. which is a process where I will speak to you through the entire procedure, uh, not telling you everything I'm doing, but just enough so that there's no surprises. And I find that that really helps, especially with young male patients, uh, and also just anyone who happens to have a little bit of anxiety. We also use a bit of premedication to help take the edge off. And I think that plus my verbal anesthesia, um, we, we get patients, uh, surprisingly, uh, patients get through the procedure with very, very comfortable uh, experiences. Excellent. Uh, and here's the final question is, uh, how, do, how do you know if you're a candidate? So. For somebody who's interested in laser vision correction and they want to know if they're a candidate, what's the next step for them? Well, the best thing to do is to come in for a free consultation. Mm -hmm. At that time, we'll listen to what your needs are, we'll measure your prescription, we'll do a snapshot of your prescription, and we'll even do a snapshot of the curvatures of the cornea itself. The cornea is the part of the eye where we do this procedure. Uh, there's a device called an orb scan, which is almost like an MRI of the cornea, which will give us information about the health of the cornea, uh, the curvature, and, and various other things. Then we can give you an idea of uh, whether you're a candidate or not and which procedure might be best for you. Uh, but again, this is a personal decision, and we always work with you taking into account your personal needs, your occupation, uh, and various other factors just to make sure that the procedure you pick is the procedure that's right for you. Excellent. So uh, just as a, as a final word, if you are at this point and you're feeling like you uh, would like to find out if medically speaking you are a candidate, we'd love for you to 
Uh, schedule that initial free consultation. You can either do so online, uh, you can click the link down below, or you can give us a phone call, a variety of different options. And then conversely, back to what Dr. Rothman said, if you happen to have some, some more questions and you're, hey, what about this question? Please don't hesitate. Give us a call. We'd be more than happy to take care of you. So uh, Dr. Rothman, I will give you the final word. Uh, any closing words you'd like to say to a prospective LASIK patient? Yes, actually, I would say that LASIK is the best gift you can give to yourself or someone you love, and hopefully that's the same person. <laughs> and I look forward to meeting you soon. Excellent. Thank you very much, everybody, for spending time with us here today. We'll look forward to seeing you in our clinic. Take care. Bye-bye.